Very good morning, beloved. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And today is Wednesday, the 9th of September. Our theme is Everything Belongs to God. And the scripture reading is recorded in Leviticus 27, verse 30, and it reads as follows. Every tide of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the trees is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now, beloved, does it sound familiar if I say, my house, my keys, my job, my office, my money, my car, and the list is endless. And the Bible is teaching us today, everything belongs to the Lord, including our sins. He is the creator, sustainer, and the guide and the, gu and the guard of his creatures. That is of the soil, or what grows on it, says the Bible, in contradiction to the tithes of the land mentioned in Leviticus 27, verse 32. The last things mentioned which cannot be dedicated to the Lord by a vow of tithes, like the firstborn of animals, they already belong to God by another statue. A man, therefore, cannot vow to God what is not his own, whether of the seed of the land. That is what a seed, when sown, produced in the soil. And it brings, it brings us down to the, the first statement that everything belongs to God. And as soon as we get to know and accept that nothing we have belongs to us, but God is the owner. We're just the managers, we're just the stewards. Sometimes we say, is my church even? Is my choir, is my committee, is my organization? But the reality is everything we have, even the servant would state this we have, belongs to God. And I would like to quote today uh, uh, from John MacArthur. And I quote, all Christians are but God's stewards. Everything we have is on loan from the Lord, entrusted to us for a while to use in serving him. Unquote. By John MacArthur. God bless you, beloved, now and always. Father, please help me to live a disciplined life on earth. Keep me steadfast and let me remain immovable and non-responsive to worldly pressures. Make me a person of integrity who will remain faithfully to you unto the end, so that I can receive your tremendous blessings in heaven. For in the name of Jesus Christ I pray, Amen. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen.